Good morning. My name is Isabella Basso and I am an SAP Business by Design uh, consultant uh, at Bramasol. Bramasol is an SAP Gold Channel partner. And today I wanted to uh, present you a um, demo on a project time and expense uh, recording. Um, to start with, though, I wanted to kind of briefly introduce you to project management um, at SAP um, Business by Design. As you can see here, I have already created a test project um, with a very simple structure where we have a, a header of the project, we have a task, a time and material with few um, other tasks, video production and video distribution. We have a non-billable task here created, especially to record any customer non-billable hours um, that consultants are, are recording, as well as some fixed price items. Um, the structure of the project in SAP Business by Design is uh, very flexible. You can create the tree of the task and milestones um, as per your um, requirements. Few things I wanted to show you here, though, is that um, you have here the Gantt uh, chart of the of the project and its task. You can see the project in a different view, um, depending which one is more convenient uh, to you to look at. I'm more comfortable just working with a Gantt chart. So I'm going to go back to the previous uh, previous view. Um, and here there are several tabs that you very easily can work work through. The first tab is a team and staffing, uh, where you can see all the employees or contractors which are assigned to this project and the task, um, and their working hours. Um, you can also assign actually the entire organization unit, so anyone uh, working for that org unit can see this particular project and task. Um, and record their times towards it. Uh, in the product and purchasing tab, you can create a purchase order for the subcontractors or um, any other products. The sales tracking um, uh, option kind of shows you the integration with the sales order and it enables you to easily um, uh, invoice uh, the customer for any kind of time and material spent on this project. In the project overview tab, you can see several um, reports related to this project. Um, we can see here financial reports. You can track the project cost and revenue, project plan values. You can obviously uh, track the performance of the project, teamwork, um, team member work analysis, as well as a project time recording. Obviously, this is only a sample of the reports that are available at um, Business by Design Solution. Um, this is just a few of them, which um, every project manager would like to have them uh, handy. Um, so let's go back to the project plan. And when we scroll down a little bit, uh, we're going to see uh, several other tabs that we can work with. The basic data is obviously stating the project task name. Um, we can see the person responsible. We can define whether this project or the particular task need the management approval for, um, for any time recording. Uh, we can see the status of the project. In this case, it's released. We can go to the work tab now and see again, you know, the team members who are working on this particular task. So let me just actually choose one of the tasks here, the video production, just to see some data in here. Um, you can also track the expenses and revenues of the project and task. Um, you can um, see all the scheduling meaning um, you can set up your start constraint date or finish constraint date. You can track the actual dates. Um, you can set up in the accounting piece uh, responsible uh, unit um, or profit center, as well as a customer that we're going to bill for, uh, for this project. 
There are several dependencies that you can uh, create um, between the task of the project. You can attach um, any supporting documents, perhaps an SOW that you would like to keep handy for anyone working on this project. So um, at this point, let's just try to go ahead and record some hours for the few of those tasks, video production and the video distribution. To do so, I am going to go to the homework center, which is just here, and we'll go to the self-services. In the self-services view, um, the employee can proceed with multiple tasks. Um, the employee can edit his own contact information, can obviously edit the timesheet, that's where we're going to go, uh, can create a new expense report, um, can go through some e-learning um, activities uh, that are provided here, as well as um, a record a, report a new incident if that's required, if he's facing, facing issues, uh, any issues with the system. So we're going to go here to edit timesheet. Um, at the very top, we're going to see uh, a calendar for um, this um, few months. And I'm actually going to go back to June 17th. On June 17th, let's say that I went to for the customer visit and spent some hours discussing um, the different um, video distribution and video production um, uh, items. As you can see here down, uh, I have here a multiple uh, project and task um, items that I am uh, the employee is working on. Also with the manager or the approval uh, is always mentioned in this field. Um, we're going to scroll down and here I can see my uh, test, test project for video distribution. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and just see exactly the date. So I will go ahead and for June 17th, I'm going to uh, record four hours spent on this um, task. But as I've mentioned, I also worked on the video production. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually uh, go ahead and record that um, time here. So we said video production. Here we go, it's a test project 01, and I've spent another four hours on the video production task. This view here, um, I can easily um, edit it while going to the manage my work list. Um, if there are some items here, project or task, I no longer work with, or I don't really wanna see it here, I can make them uh, visible or not visible, and it's very easily adjustable. So here we go. I have recorded um, four hours for May, uh, June 17th uh, for the task called video production and four hours for video distribution. What I'm going to do now is save those items. And I will release those. In the normal process, as you've seen here, um, this time recording uh, would go for the approval to the manager of the project. In this case, I'm actually a project manager as well, so I uh, don't have to go through the approval process, but just wanted to let you know this is, um, you know, this is how you can set up your system. Um, so let's close this window and we'll go to the self-service one more time. And this time, we're going to uh, also record um, report a new expense report. Let's say the, uh, the June 17th was the time where I actually flew to the customer to have conversations regarding the video distribution and production. And I'm going to here choose the type of the expense report. And that is going to be here in my case, business trip. Uh, let's say it's uh, the, the business purpose is a customer visit and the date that I flown is um, going to be uh, June 17th. 
I can fill out some more detail information here. Uh, if I was driving to that place, I can um, enter the mileage information. Um, what is very important in here is the cost assignment. Um, I can go here and edit the cost assignment. For now, um, usually in by design, um, all the cost is uh, immediately assigned if it's not changed in here to the cost center where employee belongs to. But in this case, I want to actually have the cost for this expense being assigned to this particular project. And I'm going to add row in here. Account assignment type, I'm going to choose um, project task and choose the project. Um, project name was a test, test project. As you can see, I can split the percentage. I can split uh, between two different projects or two different project tasks. Uh, and here we go. I'm going to click OK. Also would like to point out that I can change here the reimbursement method. Uh, for now, it's set up as reimbursement by check to home with the address. I can actually change this information. The employee can do it by himself. I'm going to go here now to the next step and add a few um, receipts, expense receipts. So let's say the first receipt type is going to be for the flight. And um, let's say I've flown to, from San Francisco to Seattle for that customer visit and my flight ticket was around $300. So here it is. I'm going to make here a quick note saying that it's a flight from SFO to Seattle. Uh, pretty much all the information that is required I have at this point. Let me add one more receipt. Um, let's say that I did have a dinner with a customer and spent, um, let's say, $60 for a dinner. I'm going to make a comment here. And we'll go to the next step where I can actually um, add all the receipts, um, the flight uh, booking confirmation or the receipt from the restaurant. I can just go here and add the file, which I'm not going to do at this moment, but it's very easy to just kind of uh, add all the receipts. Um, for now, I'm just going to go next just to review if all the information are correct. I have $360 to be reimbursed. Uh, by check uh, for this business trip. I'm going to finish. And here we're done, pretty much done with the expense report. The new expense report has been created, the expense report number 459. Um, what I'm going to go next is um, I'm going to actually go to the different uh, system here, travel and expense work center. Um, and this particular system is configured in such a way that whenever an employee is creating a new expense report, the first step is the auditor to go through that expense report, make sure everything, all the information are included and they are correct uh, according to the uh, expense reimbursement policy of the company. And the second step is for the project manager or manager of the employee to um, approve the expense report. So this is a two-step or actually a three-step process. Um, and I'm going to go now through the second step, the first step being uh, creating the expense report by employee and second step being um, auditor going to the travel and expense work center to, um, to actually audit this expense report. So I'm going to go right now here and um, I can see the new expense report 459 
showing up on the work list for the auditor. I'm going to click on this um, expense report. And I can, auditor can very easily view all the information. If I click view all, I'm going to have all the details here, but I'm just kind of screening more or less through all the information. Everything seems to be fine to me, so I can accept this expense report. If I need any additional clarification, have any other questions, I can return this expense report for revision. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and accept it. The next step, the next step is the manager to um, go ahead and again verify that all the expense information are correct and the manager is going to um, approve or decline um, the expense report. So at this point I'm going to go back to the Managing May Area Work Center approvals. And I can see here there is an expense report for 59 pending the approval. I'll just go ahead, um, click on that report, just verify all the information. Um, and again, if anything is uh, concerning, I can reject this expense report, request more supporting information, or I can simply go ahead and approve the expense report for 100. 59. I am going to close this um, expense report approval window and at this stage I can go to project management work center time and expense it's already open in here and as you can see I have here four hours recorded for the video distribution task, four hours for video production, as well as my 300 for the flight tickets and $60 for the meal. So this is a wonderful place just to see all the expenses and then a time recording that has been um, recorded towards the project and particular task. That would be a quick demo of the project um, time and recording, sorry, time and expense reporting in SAP Business by Design Solution. If you need any additional information, feel free to contact us uh, at Bramasol and we'll be more than happy to um, provide you with additional information. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.